Very nice. Really like this RTA or rebuildable atomizer. Good to be with you again. It's Richard in here. Welcome, Vapor friends. I've had this bad boy for a little more than a week. Been vaping on it, refilled it, vaped it again. I've had no issues with it. I kind of like it. And uh, even if there's an issue, it's a really teeny weeny bit of, uh, of a problem here. You can even call it that, uh, where it leaks juice from the window area. And uh, it's understandable. I'll explain to you why I'm having that problem. Um, when we get into the close-ups. But other than that, just wipe it off and it doesn't come back again. This is great. The flavor and the vapor production is up there with the uh, other what I call atomizers like the K-Funds, the Typhoons, and even the Earl Konigan as well. So it's really nice. It's Swiss made, uh, that's the original we're talking about, but this is a clone version. And I especially like the airflow control ring that you have in the uh, bottom here. So. It's really a good vape, and like they say, you know, good things come in small packages, but uh, in this case, good things come in big packages. The boxing is really big. That's what we're going to be looking at today. The clone version of the Squape Reloaded, or Squape R, some of you call it, the original by Stackquamp. This is from China. Right, as usual, just before we hit into the close-ups, we're going to just talk a little bit about this, uh, just to give you some uh, highlights on uh, the new features that it has. Uh, this is actually an upgraded or revised version of the original version 1. Aesthetically, the first thing you're going to notice is the uh, Squip logo that's engraved on the body, which looks really nice, especially with the uh, Swiss logo here. And also some engravings on the drip tip as well. And besides that, aesthetically, also you will find that the uh, windows have changed in uh, what do you call shape design. It used to be the uh, rectangular, so-called what I call the airline window shaped uh, windows here that you can see through into your tank to see how much juice you've got left. Now it's triangular. And uh, apart from that, it's got the knurling here at the airflow control ring for you to grip and turn your airflow control, which clicks uh, from the smallest, tiniest hole to the biggest hole, which we'll catch in the close-up again. And uh, we have a 510 pin now that you can adjust to make contact with your battery. And besides that, this is a 22 millimeter diameter uh, atomizer that will sit flush on your mechanical mod. Last but not least, this is a tank that can hold 5 ml of juice. So without further ado guys, we're going to get into the close-up, break it down, have a really good uh, close look at this uh, atomizer, and then come back, vape on it, talk about it again. So time to get close with our Squip R clone here and also the unboxing. Like I said, it's a really big box and it measures 5.5 by 5.5 inches uh, in size it's a big square box in other words all right so you have the boxing here all the uh, markings made in switzerland which is kind of sad actually to rip it off lock stock and barrel but that's the way china works so that's it reloaded and opening up you have the package inside you have your spares these comes with two spare decks and i will come to that shortly also comes with your spare screwdriver and pre-wicked uh, coils and all that and some o-rings in there which you want to save it because uh, these o-rings can be used for uh, certain parts in there if you want to replace it and of course we have as usual the highlight putting this aside we have the squip r clone right here in my hands which looks really nice comes in uh, stainless steel 304 brushed finish and with those logo uh, engraved on it, or rather the logo, the square bar logo engraved on it with the Swiss, uh, what do you call, logo as well. And uh, some engravings here of the uh, triangular, what do you call, shaped windows here on the drip tip. Let's compare it to start with, with the version 1 that I have here. In terms of uh, height, this is definitely taller than the version 1, but just a tad bit. And in terms of diameter, it's also smaller than the uh, version 1. Version 1 is bigger, 23 millimeter in diameter. This is 22 millimeters in diameter. By weight, it is also lighter than the first version as well because version 1 has a thicker stainless steel. So it's heavier by 7 grams compared to the Squape R. Aesthetically, 
um, they're different as you can see it has got the engravings here this doesn't have these have all these uh, what you call uh, grooves all around here which this doesn't have so there's a bit of uh, difference here and there and uh, this comes with the adjustable airflow control this doesn't come with it and uh, the version one actually comes with a non-adjustable 510 pin where the uh, scrape R you can adjust the contact pin here all right so uh, besides that what else uh, this takes the airflow from the 510 pin at the bottom here if you look closer there's this hole here and there's one on the other side so the airflow comes from here into your deck and cools off your coil whereas this comes from the body itself where you have this adjustable ring so besides that uh, this comes with a glass tank where the original comes with a PMMA tank or the square bar it comes with a plastic tank for the clone version whereas the original comes with a glass tank so uh, those are the differences so we're gonna put the uh, version one aside and uh, get a closer look at the square R okay we're gonna start from the top break it down all the way right to the uh, deck here all right so first you have your drip tip your drip tip is uh, got two o-rings here to hold it nice and snug against the uh, top cap here and we're going to put that aside tank section like i said it's stainless steel with the uh, engraving here squake logo which makes it look really nice and now they've changed the uh, instead of the airline cabin windows from version one that's what i call it uh, we have got these triangular windows here that goes uh, straight through where you can see through and see how much juice you got left all right so that's uh, the top section here and the bottom you have your engraved uh, serial number which is fake of course and you have the 510 adjustable 510 pin here you have your airflow control ring here if you just pull it it comes off and this is, ring is actually held on by a ball bearing here all right so when you put it on it presses against the ring and keeps it in place every time you shift it clicks so it's got that click stop effect all right and you have your airflow hole your rather your air holes here from the smallest till the biggest all right we'll come to that shortly in time to uh, take off the deck from the tank section all you got to do is just unscrew it anti-clockwise holding on to the knurling okay if you hold on to this part you're going to just turn the airflow control okay so turn the knurling and the deck comes off and you have your chimney bell in there to take it off you need to have your own um, allen screw some come provided mine doesn't come provided so all you got to do is just uh, again unscrew it turn it anti-clockwise like that and the entire chimney bell comes off and of course the chimney bell is also coated with the uh, proprietary uh, what we call coating anodized uh, with ceramic all right to prevent short and uh, this is non-conductive we're going to put that aside first and take a look at the uh, top section here which has your PMMA tank in there okay one thing I just want to warn you is uh, there are some clones that come without two o-rings that is installed in here to keep your tank in place so what you got to do is install those o-rings before you you know get everything called put in and fill in your juice otherwise juice is going to leak out completely all right and how that works is actually you have your tank section in here i'm going to bring it closer and let you have a look if you have the tank here the tank is actually pressed up against an o-ring which is actually lined up on a groove like that this kind of grooves along on the wall of this uh, stainless steel top here all right so you have got two o-rings seated on the wall here one here and one here on the grooves in there you have those grooves as well so you got to line those uh, that o-ring along the groove both o-rings and then you slowly push your tank slip it in there and once your tank is in there it holds against the uh, o-ring and also this metal or rather stainless steel body right and that's how it keeps it in place otherwise if you don't have the o-rings when you fill in your juice it's just 
everything is just going to leak out and you're going to waste a whole tank of juice. That's how you do it. And the tank actually fills up uh, 5 milliliters in capacity. All right, besides that, I'm going to put this aside right now and take a look at the uh, deck that we have here. So as I mentioned, this is adjustable 510. You've got your airflow, airflow control ring here, which you can remove and put it back. All right, to adjust your airflow. The uh, air holes that you have here, there's quite a few here from the smallest to the largest, and it ranges from 0.9 millimeters all the way right up to the widest air hole, which is 3.1 millimeters. Okay, in between you have 1.1, 1.4, 1.8, and 2.2 millimeters. All right, so those are your air holes there. You have the knurling for you to hold and unscrew the tank from your uh, what do you call tank. Right on top here, you have an O-ring seated here, so that when you're screwing it uh, into your tank, this will prevent anything from leaking out. All right, any of your juice. So you have two Phillips screws here to pin down your wires. Excuse my micro coil, which is still sitting in there. Taking a look at the uh, deck here, you have this uh, deck here which is a floating deck, that's what they call it. It's actually floating and just held on by an O-ring. There's the letter C here, C means curved. Um, there are three options for you to change your deck uh, to different um, decks that you want. And uh, that comes with the spares, like I mentioned earlier on, that will be coming too. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, it's in this plastic bag. We're just gonna open it and take it out. All right, so, but mine came with a mistake with a floor where they have actually gave me, given me two decks here with a letter C. So basically it should have W, C, and S, okay? Um, the one that should come with the deck originally should be W, the white deck, okay? Uh, W stands for wide and white is for cotton which is uh, about 3.2 millimeters in diameter this channel here all right so that's what it should be in and then you have C C is actually for curved curved are for uh, thicker wires or oh, sorry thicker uh, wicking material like uh, your thicker silica like 2.5 3mm or your eco wool wicks all right so then you have S, which is uh, which stands for standard. Standard is your two millimeter silica wick or even uh, cotton for the matter. So it, it's all different in sizes uh, when it comes to the channel size. All right, so that's the difference within uh, with these three decks here. And how you want to change these decks? Very simple. Just get your Phillips screwdriver. Take off these two Phillips screws here, and then once it's off, just pull this out and replace it with anyone you'd like to and screw it back down and right under, underneath these uh, two Phillips screws here you have two posts that is seated there all right so um, there are some clones that comes with the post you know when you're trying to screw down your wire and it just keeps spinning 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 what else is new so um, what you got to do very simple take off these two screws pull out this deck get a plier and tighten those posts down all right so once you've got those posts tightened down Put the deck back on put the screws back on and you can build your coil otherwise uh, the post is just going to spin so that's something i found out all right so besides that what else all right this coating just to let you know is actually uh anodized uh, with ceramic okay so it is non-conductive and it's to prevent shorts okay so this uh anodized coating is actually called e-metal and uh the for the original Authentic scrape, uh, what it call atomizers. The anodized coating is actually coated by a company called Victorinox, uh, which produces those Swiss Army knives. So if you're a camper, I'm sure you're familiar with that name, Victorinox. Right. That's that, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the deck section. And uh, to assemble it back, all you have to do once you've got your coil done up, just put this aside. We're gonna take this and put it aside. Get your chimney bell or your chimney cap here and together with your tank it's threaded by the way and just fit it in to your tank your tank will hold 5 ml of juice once you've got it in there you want to tighten it you use your allen head screw driver and just turn it clockwise okay so like so 
and all you got to do is just get your needle syringe bottle or if you don't have a needle syringe bottle you do whatever bottles you have all you got to do if you have an uh, dripper you want to just drip it in you just put it at the side here drip your juice and get it in between this slot here around here and not in here because it will go straight down into your drip tip and out and you waste the entire tank of juice all right so you just want to put it at the side here drip it in and the juice will go in here get five ml of juice okay then after that what you want to do is just get your deck and just screw it back on and the thing uh, what I experienced was that I had some leakage here along the window sill uh, windows here is because I think the o-ring that's holding the uh, plastic tank against it is somehow a little bit big um, the o-ring size so it's a little bit loose probably and when I filled it up with juice and when I screwed it on the pressure um, actually pushes some of the liquid out from the window but it's a small issue so what I do is I just wipe it off and um, it doesn't happen anymore so that's the thing so once you screwed it in and put your drip tip back you're good to vape this is the squape R right so we're back from the close-ups the squape reloaded value for the buck if you ask me except for the little bit that leaks out from the window when you're filling in your juice that's because of the pressure uh, forcing the uh, some of the e-liquid to just ooze out from the uh, you know uh, what I call tank section where you have the two o-rings holding it but other than that it's been performing for the last week or so I've been vaping on it no issues at all I love the uh, airflow control because you can you know change to different air hole sizes uh, for different kind of vapes uh, like mouth to lung inhales or if you want to do lung inhales so this is very really nice and very easy to build as well very similar to the uh, Earl Konigan where you can just rest your uh, what you call screwdriver on the uh, channels and then and then after that uh, pin down your wires I've got this for about 120 ringgit or somewhere around there from a local vape shop here in Puchong in the tier walk called Vape Empire. So for those of you Malaysians, you want to get one, you can head on there. And uh, besides that, uh, for those of you overseas, you might want to just log into Vaping Cheap, but they will normally direct you to a seller or you can get it from Fast Tech as well. So other than that, it is a good atomizer. One more vape before we call it a day. Very nice. Very, very nice. Until I talk to you again, guys, uh, vape safe. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Catch you later. Bye for now.